What happened? Just Hello. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get it. Mm -hmm. And also, it's good to have that right behind you. So if you bit yeah. to the bit to this side, so uh -huh. that's right beside you. Well, uh, Mr. Rue and I, we just got uh, thrown out of the Human Rights Tribunal. I'm glad that I had a little bit of a talk with Norman Therese. He was one of the uh, kangaroo members uh, who fined me $55,000, who found me guilty and imposed a 55000 penalty for uh, correctly gendering uh, Mr. Ronan OJ, the failed NDP candidate. Anyways, uh, in response to why I was dragged here, uh, they gave me this little letter. The early settlement meeting has been cancelled. The respondent's due date to file the Form 2 complaint response is October 25th, 2019. So that's all they said, Carla Kennedy, case manager. Anyways, folks, uh, this is your tax dollars at work. I would encourage you to wake up. Um, it's not only these 16 women who've been victimized. Many people have been victimized. And we're all victims if we allow our freedom of speech and indeed the freedom to say what is true be uh, bullied into silence by such a kangaroo tribunal as this one. Thank you and, and have a good day. Also asked, you came all the way from Hamilton, Ontario for this, right? Like they, you came for this appointment, right? And then... Yeah, well, I, I certainly wanted to have a face-to-face -face meeting with uh, Mr. Yaniv. I thought that was my understanding of mediation. Um, but he said that he feels unsafe. He's asking for enhanced security for the kangaroo trial process. Uh, we will see what happens. I don't know what he's afraid of. Uh, so far, the only one I've seen violent in interactions with Mr. Yaniv is himself, uh, with uh, the Press for Truth uh, reporters and yeah, Mr. Menzies. Yeah, Dan Menzies. Dix was here, and he said he feels unsafe with Dan Dix there. And there's a video of him here yeah. right at the airport, right at the elevator. He gets up and he stands. He pretends to be disabled. He gets up and stands, and it's... It's hits the alarm. Well, the truth is, is that he feels unsafe when people call him out for his antisocial behavior. And we have to remember as Canadians, these folks don't actually deserve a lot of respect when they behave in such a despicable fashion. So have a good day and God bless. Okay, let's see. Are you able to put that all together?